I cannot believe I'm about to say what I am about to say, but we do have big news this morning in the hunt for Bigfoot. That's right. Some say there is now new evidence, and if seeing isn't believing, maybe your ears will convince you or not. ABC's John Muller is here with this story. Good morning, John. on the edge of his seat all morning yeah. waiting, waiting for this, this one. Wondering some, how you got this assignment. Some right. strange, <laughs> mysterious sounds have been coming out of a swampy area in Oregon's Blue Mountains for the last few months. The same mountains that are famous for Bigfoot sightings. So, is this a Bigfoot hearing? We'll let you decide. He is the elusive hairy giant of legend, a tabloid hero, punchline, and news diversion. Now Bigfoot, back in the headlines. But it's not footprints, grainy video, or sightings. This time, something brand new. Audio. Bigfoot speaks. Listen. Listen again. The high-pitched shrieks and bass roars come from a swampy area in the Blue Mountains of Oregon, a Bigfoot hotspot for decades. The recording given to the Oregonian newspaper. Not impressed? People living in the area are. They've been hearing strange cries in the night since November. Denise Minthorn on the left told the paper she thinks whatever is in the swamp is calling out to another creature. Some suggest it could be a young Bigfoot lost, calling out for his fellow Bigfoots. These are not just animals. These are a type of people. Don't tell these guys Bigfoot is a bunch of craziness. They are professional Bigfoot researchers. They've spent plenty of time in Oregon's Blue Mountains. Well, first, it's more than one. Remember, it's not Bigfoot, it's Bigfoots. There's, there's a misconception out there that we're looking around for this one thing. One alternate theory, the high-pitched shrieks, could be the screams of local foxes. Of course, it could be possible maybe it's Bigfoot chasing the local foxes. So whatever you think of the Bigfoot, the noises themselves are a legitimate mystery. 1,500 residents live near that swampy area of the Blue Mountains. Some say they've been scared to go out at night. One guy told the Oregonian even his dogs were scared to go outside at night. You convinced? It could be the first uh, story in Dan's new show, Cold Justice. Yeah. Cold Justice. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna track down Bigfoot. <laughs> All right, thank you, John. You bet. Appreciate it. I'm not sure you did, however.